Hey Jamarty, signing in. Welcome to my program analysis. Today we're installing the Codeblocks IDE and the GCC C++ compiler onto Linux Mint. I'm using 18.2. If you guys have an earlier or later version, it should work all the same. And if you're using Ubuntu, I know that it should definitely work as well. So what we want to do is, first thing we want to go to the software manager. And to get there, it's just go into the start button. And underneath administration, it should be right there. Software manager. So I'm just going to enter my password. Which, so that's probably the longest password that I've actually ever seen in my life. But, I mean, security is security. It's always a top priority with me. But I guess you could make it longer because there's more space for more characters. So we're in the software manager. And then all, all you have to do just go to the search bar here. And all you have to do is just type in G++. So G++. Hit enter. And that should give us what we want. And you want to go with one that's just G++, the G, and U, C++ compiler. So just double click on that. And then click install. So that'll install the compiler. So that's basically under the hood of what compiles it down to the bits and bytes. And then we're going to want the IDE, which is code blocks. So there we go. All installed. Good to go. Now we're going to want to go for code blocks. So we can just go back to the categories. Just click there. And then all we have to do is just type code blocks. Or actually, if we just click the programming button it'll come up pretty quick there we go code blocks and then we can install it from there so install yep make sure it installs all good so it's installing and it's installing extremely fast a lot faster than installed for windows that's for sure so now we have code blocks installed and we have the compiler for it installed but now we just want to have the terminal the windows terminal that is to emulate that windows terminal so we compile and run it it's going to look all nice and it's going to open up so that's just x term so type into the search bar x term hit enter and that should give us what we want so X term, make sure it's X term and go inside it, double click on it and just install it. So we're going to install it. Once you are sure that it's installed, installed, oh good. Then we can open up code blocks. So it's going to be in the underneath menu and programming. So there we go. Code blocks ID and it looks like it's all working good. So we can create a new project and let's go with console application. Go next, make sure you go with C++ next. And we can title this what we want. We can just say title this to hello because it's just going to be a hello world program. And you can save this to wherever you want by clicking this the little dot 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 button. And that's going to save it to wherever you want. I'm just going to save mine to the desktop. The desktop will work fine. Next, and make sure these are all checked and hit finish. So and then in the left tab, we want to actually edit the code a little. So click the plus and then main CPP. So this is just basically a hello world program. So if we compile and run it. And it should run all good. And yep, we have Hello World printing on the screen. And of course, we can edit this to our likings. So, Hello Linux World. There we go. And compile and run it. I think the shortcut is F9. Yep, the uh, Hello Linux World. So, so, it's running all fine. It's compiling. It's all good to go. So, one thing I quickly want to do here. Take out that. Oh, that feels better. Oh, and there we go. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Agent Marty out.